Hi everyone, this is HMNS video number four and you are most welcome for it. Today we want to learn more about Excel cursors. Look at this. This is a worksheet and I want you to see the changes in the cursors. Boom. 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 And those are just samples. We have about 11 different Microsoft Excel cursors. And in this video, we are going to learn about all of them and see what each of them are used for in Microsoft Excel. Let's switch onto it and get a deeper knowledge of Microsoft Excel cursors. In this worksheet, we have a survey data that will help us to get to know more about our cursors because at some point, we need to know how cursors work in values and also in formulas. So we are going to make a simple formula here that will help us to understand our cursors. Now this is a survey data and this survey data was got as a result of this question. Which school in our area has the best signpost location? And the, the respondents were supposed to put down the, the school code. So they have listed down the school codes on this table. We have about, if I control down arrow, we have about 100 responses. Control up arrow to go back to the top of the table. Now we are going to make a formula out of these results so that we see how Excel cursors work in formulas as well. So let's do that. We have these field names, the school code and the frequency. So we are going to get some unique list of these school codes in this column F and then we get the frequency. The frequency is just like the count of each code from this list here. So I'm going to click on cell F4 and do a simple formula. In Excel, every formula starts with an equal sign. So equals to. Now the function we are going to use is called the unique function. When I see it highlighted in blue, I click tab to select it. Now this function is only found in Office 365. If you don't have Office 365, you may not see this, this function. But don't worry, this video is just to help us understand Excel cursors. So we are going to see more about construction of formulas later. And then we see how we can do this using a function that can favor everyone. That is found in all versions of Excel. So for now, I'm going to click on cell B4, Control shift down arrow to select all my responses. Control backspace to go back to the active cell. And then I'm going to hit enter. We have a unique list of these school codes and we have six school codes as you can see here. So we are going to do another formula here. I'm going to use a formula called count, count ifs with S. See it highlighted in blue, you hit tab to select it. Click on cell B4, control shift down arrow. F4 to lock it, comma, comma. And our criteria is going to be this one. Control enter. Copy it down. Let's understand our cursor now. Let's start from up. If you come on top, there's this mouse pointer cursor. This cursor is used to do a number of things in Excel. First of all, it's the cursor you use when you want to go to a command in Excel. Like for example, you can see, you can go to any command, you can go to any command. Conditional formatting, any command you want, you can use that cursor. You can as well use it to navigate through your tabs. Tabs tabs that one you also use the mouse pointer cursor if you come down to your status bar this downer part of excel is what's called the status bar this is where you can also use the mouse pointer cursor you can right click and then you come to this customized status bar as well it's also the cursor that is used to move your scroll bars the horizontal scroll bar or the vertical scroll bar you use the mouse pointer cursor. Also, if you want to minimize, restore down and close your workbook, you also use the mouse pointer cursor. Now, when you want to do any editing in Excel, you use what is called the IBIM cursor. That one you are seeing. Like for example, if you want to edit this, you can click and then you edit it. You can as well come to the font and you click, you change the font type. Also, you can come to the font size you click you change the font the font size if you come and click on this cell where there is lc and for example you maybe you want to edit that one maybe for example you might be in need of 
putting a space you can double click you see the ibeam cursor you click where you want to edit and then you give it a space just like that that one is the ibeam cursor i'm going to click backspace you can also use it at the formula bar if you, if you come to the formula bar you can as well click and then you edit so the ibeam cursor also is using the formula if i come and double click and maybe i want to edit something here i can also use the ibeam cursor as you can see now that big cross you are seeing is called the selection cursor reason being it can be used to select a cell or then range of cell like for example i'm selecting this table then going to border and giving it the all border that one is the selection cursor you can use it to select just a cell or a range of cell you can also use the selection cursor to select the entire worksheet if you click on this come to this angle and then you click it selects the entire worksheet now let me use my selection cursor and select cell f10 then i'm going to type their total because now for example i made a mistake i can use my i beam cursor click and then backspace and then give a correct name of total tab here i'm going to do a, 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 a sum function or equals enter i'm also going to use my my selection cursor to highlight the range go back and give it all border that one is a selection cursor now from the selection cursor we have what is called the cross hair now this cross hair cursor is one of the most powerful cursor in excel for example if you come and type for example let's say we click on cell d3 and then we type let's say january january and then we hit control enter now the the big green thing you are seeing at the bottom right corner of your selection cursor is what is called the fill handle or the auto fill handle so if you take your cursor to that fill it changes to a crosshair not this one a crosshair is this one the black cross which is not very fat but thin it's not like the selection cursor the selection cursor is big but when you go to the fill handle you see the crosshair now this crosshair is very powerful you can use it to copy values you can use it to copy formulas also in excel like for example i can go to the crosshair and then i drag this one down to copy it down like up to december you can see it recognize the pattern and then it copies your value down also if you remember very well when i made the first formula here for example let me first delete all this one i'm going to do a delete now if you remember when i first made my formula here after hitting control enter i came down to this fill and also then i saw the crosshair and use it to drag my formula down and it copied all my formula down. now i've made it up to the total but i don't want it to reach that i don't want the formula to reach the total so i'm going back to the fill handle when i see my crosshair i'm going to drag it up up to where i want it to be and then i leave so in the total i'm going to put back the total all equals and then enter so that one is the use of the crosshair it's used to copy values it's also used to copy formulas now after the crosshair we have what is called the move cursor again if you click on a cell like this and then you go at the bottom of the selected cell like for example here you see that cursor there that one is called a move cursor because it's used to move things in excel like for example if i highlight this table i'm going to use control asterisk on my keyboard and then i move at the border i see the move cursor i can drag and drop it wherever i want you see that one is the use of a move cursor it can also be used to move chart this is a chart we have made you can also use it to move element in a chart for example if you click on school code and then you can move it around that one is also the use of a move cursor i'm going to control z remember also if you want to edit any element in a chart you can also use you can you see the ibeam cursor we use for editing you can also use it on a chart i forgot to show you that one now this move cursor if i go to the to the function i mean to the formula where we have made it can also be used to move the screen tip like for example what is what we call the screen tip is this you are seeing so you can also click when you see the move cursor you use to move the screen tip and put it wherever you want so i'm going to push it back you can also use it to move the screen tips as well so i'm going to hit escape to put back the formula in the cell if you go to the middle of two columns like for example this is column f and this is column g 
if you go to the middle of the column you see this cursor it looks like the crosshair but it's not because it's having the arrow that is pointing to the left and to the right so that one is used for resizing you can use that cursor and drag to resize the column or you can simply double click to get this best fit i'm going to come here double click to get the best fit as well so that one is what is called the column resize cursor also we have the raw one if you go at the middle of two rows you also see the black cursor which is pointing up and down you can also use the same way you can drag to increase the size of the row or you can double click to resize it and it gets the best fit that one is also used for resizing the column and resizing the row as we have seen now there is also one cursor that is used to select the entire row for example if you come at the row header you see this cursor and when you click it, it selects the entire row you can come click it selects the entire row you can as well click and then you drag to select multiple rows as you can see but it's selecting the entire rows as you can see and also there is one that select the entire columns when you go to the column header you can also click to select the entire column or you can click and drag to select the entire column as well the entire range of column you have selected that one is also there now there's also another cursor that is used to resize the scroll bar for example if you come to these three dots you see this cursor you can use to resize your your, your your scroll bar for example if you want your scroll bar to be big you can move it to the left or you can move it to the right to make your scroll bar small that one, that cursor is also there the same cursor is also used to enlarge the formula bar if you want your formula bar maybe to be large you can go and when you see that cursor the same cursor it's a little bit hard to get yeah, this one here yeah. you can drag it down to make your formula bar large or you can see it and drag it up to make it smaller now there's one cursor that very many people the last one very many people doesn't use that cursor but it's there and it's only found in formulas let's go back to our formula if you double click and you come to your formula i told you this is called the screen tip this is the move cursor that can be used to move the screen tip but now when you go to the argument there's this cursor which is the un pointing the un pointing at the argument so this cursor is used to point at the active argument for example if you remember we use this argument called the cri the criteria range that one is this entire range here and then the second one is the criteria which is this one here so if you try to move your cursor towards the active the active argument you see that an pointing at the active argument that one is another cursor we use in excel you can also drag it towards the criteria and you can see it's also pointing at the criteria those are the two arguments that we are using now criteria range 2 we are not using it it's not an active argument even if you drag your cursor around it you will not see that an pointing at it now all those terms we are using we are going to see them later on when we come to a video where we are making formulas but for this video we just want to understand the cursors so that is exactly the 11 cursors we have in microsoft excel now i'm going to hit escape to put back that formula in the cell now those are the 11 cursors we have in microsoft excel in case you know of any we didn't talk about it you can let me know in the comment box as well so that we i also get to know so that i also learn from you as you are learning from me as well I don't know how many applications in the world have up to 11 different cursors that has different uses like Microsoft Excel. Thank you very much for watching. Until next video, HM and S video number 5, then we meet again. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I request that you subscribe so that you also motivate me to continue making videos on this very YouTube channel. Thank you.